Yeah, you know how we do it on this one. <sighs> Bracket funguses. But these are gilled. Gilled uh, funguses. As you can tell, that's what it looks like from the side. That's where it gets attached. So, these are gilled uh, bracket fungi. Fungi, fungi. That's what it looks like underneath. This is the environment they grew on. I'm assuming that they might be the same species as this from last year. And as you can see, we have some. Uh, new growth going on right here the oysters that's what they look like oysters that's what we call them these are uh, these are valuable too you just have to dry them up and grind them dry them out and grind them up most of your bracket funguses are uh, friendly so your jelly funguses so far <coughs> all the ones I've used these are only a couple of days old. They weren't here the other day when I walked by. <coughs> and if you can look in the background, on the ground back there, see that little... <coughs> Man, that little brown one back here on the ground. I don't usually mess with these. See it? There's no telling what that is. I mean, I don't know. I don't have a clue. So. But, uh, yeah. We'll definitely uh, photograph it a little bit here. It's stiff. Looks familiar. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're going to go continue on doing what we were doing. We're actually looking for some other types of funguses. These are useful and valuable. I just had never tried them before. So, I mean, there's thousands of different kinds of funguses. I mean, you name it, you just have to figure out what you're willing, how far you're willing to go with it as far as culinary and beverages and hygiene products and stuff like that. So let's continue on what, what actually what we were looking for. I might just take a couple in just in case anyway if I figure out what they are. So we can properly identify them. But I'm assuming that they're going to be those guild, those guild bracket fungi over there see it 